Hi, my name is Rebecca Fitzhugh, and today I will show you Rubrics Global Manager, called GPS. GPS offers three benefits. First, it provides a consolidated view for monitoring activities across multiple clusters. Secondly, it provides an interactive and easy-to-use troubleshooting capability. And thirdly, it provides rich and interactive reporting across all of your clusters. So let's jump right in and see GPS in action. As soon as you log into Polaris, GPS gives you an aggregated view of activities and compliance across all of your rubric clusters. So we can see the location of our clusters in their respective regions, along with aggregated charts of protection and compliance. Up top, we also see an aggregated list of activities from the last 24 hours. This time range can be tweaked based off of your user preference. And additionally, you can click into any of these activities or charts to be navigated directly to the respective page to get more detailed information. This provides a really interactive and easy way to troubleshoot. So for example, notice I have an alert that says an anomaly event has been detected. To get further detail, all I have to do is simply click this and I'll be redirected to more detailed event information from which I can investigate and then decide what action to take. If I select clusters in my global menu, I'm brought to a list of all of my registered clusters. And if I want to add a new cluster to Polaris, simply go ahead and click the plus sign and then copy the single use token. From there, you'll go ahead and register it with the respective cluster and once added, you'll be able to see it in this aggregated view. Now notice for each cluster, you can see the name, the type of cluster, what code base it's running, the number of protected objects, along with the remaining capacity. And notice that we have a very action-centric view, so you can easily see critical information in order to investigate and make decisions. So notice that my eyes are visually drawn to the bright red, indicating that I have some system events that have taken place that I need to investigate further. So let's click cluster B as an example. I'm now brought to my cluster details page where I can see detailed information about the snapshots being managed by this particular rubric cluster. So for example, I see the number of snapshots, I can see my data reduction percentage, I see the amount of data managed in archive, as well as the amount of data replicated. And of course, I can see how many objects are being protected versus not protected. Likewise, I see the amount of objects that are in compliance with their protection policy and can easily click to see which are out of compliance to figure out why. And then of course, in the center, we have our events. So we see the number of tasks that have failed within the last 24 hours. And I can easily select one, so for example, failed backups, to investigate further. So now I can see all of the failed backups for this particular cluster. Notice that it has been filtered to only show cluster B. And if I want to investigate any of these further, I can simply expand to get the entire event timeline to help in my troubleshooting. On the left hand side, I can interactively toggle to change what information is being shown. And then finally, if I want to generate and view a report, simply go ahead and navigate to the reports section to do so. From there, I can see a number of pre-built reports. So for example, let's take a look at the monthly capacity usage by object type. Similar to events, I have a number of filters that can be toggled on and off to interactively change my view. So for example, when I'm looking at my object capacity, Maybe I only care about specific type of objects. So maybe I only care about my vSphere VMs and my AHV VMs, as well as my vCloud Director vApps. So now up top, I've changed my view in a very interactive fashion to meet only those filters upon which I have selected. Additionally, if I go back to reports, I can create custom reports. So for example, let's create a protection status report. 
Let's go ahead and change it to the past week. Only view information for clusters A and B. And then likewise, I only want to view it for my vSphere virtual machines. Now, once I've created that report, I can go into the ellipsis menu to choose whether I want to add this to an email schedule or of course download this as a CSV or PDF. Ultimately, users can customize the focus of reports and events to display a custom information based off of their enterprise needs. So to recap, in this demonstration, you saw GPS used to monitor our multi-cluster environment. You saw that I was able to easily troubleshoot something such as a data anomaly. And then lastly, I'm able to interactively manage my reports and events by toggling the various filters. For more information about GPS, please visit rubric.com.